Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. We're going to do a review on this Rode Pro coffee pot made for a cigarette lighter. Now it's got this thermos and it's got it's kind of designed for a vehicle. These that kind of holds it in place. And then you've got this lid. And then that's what you're going to drink your coffee out of. And that actually is a warming uh, plate for this. So you're going to want to make sure you put this on right because that helps with it slide in. And then you've got this is where the water goes. This is a 16 ounce. So it's just single serve. And it's got this permanent filter that you can take out and clean. I'm not sure they make filters that small, so you probably have to always use this filter. But it swings out. It looks like it'd be relatively easy to clean. And it's got this on-off switch. It says it's, it's lit. So that's on and that's off. We're going to try this out in my truck. Um, surprisingly enough, it does have pause brew. So when you take your pot of coffee out, this plunger goes down and it stops the coffee from coming out. So surprisingly enough, it does have this little red ball, like a sight glass, for the water level. So that's nice. Okay, so we're going to get this all ready. I'm going to put the water in it, the coffee, and then I'm going to take it out to my truck because it takes 15 minutes to uh, brew the pot of coffee, or brew the cup of coffee. So I'm just going to do one heaping uh, tablespoon. You know, that looks, it looks like it could hold a little bit more. And then this slides in, and it does kind of snap into place, which is nice for cars. And I'm going to pour my water in the back. And we'll watch the, uh, yeah, the little red thing pops up to the max mark. Okay, and that folds down. Like I said, make sure you've got that lid positioned correctly. That helps it go underneath that plunger. Okay, so we're going to take this to the truck. Okay, so I've got this installed in my back seat uh, auxiliary cigarette lighter and I'm going to turn it on okay so the light does come on and now we're going to start the timer okay so it's been about two minutes it's starting to percolate I'm not sure I see any coffee coming out yet but it is starting to do something okay so it's right at the eight minute mark um, it's still brewing it's not really loud at all yeah, I do see a little bit of coffee coming down there. So this thing gets a little, just a little warm right there. Everywhere else is pretty cool. This thing is not loud at all though. So at the nine minute mark, that's all the coffee it's brewed. It's not much. Okay, so we're at the 14 minute mark and I think we're still brewing coffee. Pull it out and see what we've got so far. Yeah, not much more than what we had there before. Yeah, so as you can see, that red ball just hasn't come down all much. It's about halfway down, maybe. Okay, so we're at the almost the 20 minute mark. I started my truck just thinking maybe that might help it. Um, it's come down a little bit. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more water. This thing's taking forever. I mean, it's still brewing, and that red circle is coming down, so. Yeah, I can just look back here. It's got a bunch of water to go yet. Okay, so we're at the 30-minute mark, and it's got a little bit left to go, but... And I'm gonna cut this short. I can't wait as long as it's gonna take. Now it is starting to get a pretty good amount of coffee in there. We're gonna check the temperature of that. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this review in the house. Now, when I disconnected, this gets really hot. Uh, I just about burnt myself on those. So yeah, this plug gets really hot. I had it plugged in for about 30 minutes. Um, it did not finish all the way. But I'm gonna check the temperature. Yeah, 
you know, that's not too bad considering. Most coffee pots are about 165, 150 I've seen in some coffee pots. So this actually isn't that bad. It's just, I don't know what's going on with this plug. It got really warm and the metal kind of burned me. Let's open the filter. So it does a decent job of getting the grounds wet. So I'm not sure what to expect from these. Uh, I won't be using it. But I wanted to do a review on one. I found one pretty cheap. And let's just see. Okay, so if it had finished brewing it, I just dumped the rest of the water that was in that tank inside this coffee cup. If it had finished it, uh, it would have taken, I think, 40 minutes. But you know what, maybe if you do just one, like a half of one of these, it would take 15 minutes. So I just want to see how much this is. So that's pretty much what one coffee cup is. So again, this is just a dad. Uh, hope you liked this video. It's just a simple demonstration and a how-to and a review of this coffee maker for a car. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.